I wouldn't have imagined myself doing a speech in front of people about three months back. But here I am, doing my icebreaker tonight at Harsha Toastmasters. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, I would like to share a phase of my life with you, all of you tonight. Face has a great impact on, on me. So it started in year 2001. Actually, it started long back. It started when I was born. I was born in, in India, Punjab. In our part of the world, we don't choose to become doctors or engineers. We choose to become Canadians. So it was already in my fate to come to Canada. So like I said, it, it roots back to the day when I was born, but it actually had a beginning in year 2001. In the same year, I decided to <coughs> apply for Canadian immigration. I collected all the documents, packaged them, and had them sent to my immigration consultant to, to, to have them sent to Canadian High Commission in India office. So uh, I, I received the acknowledgement in a few days, in beginning of September when I, I received the acknowledgement from the Canadian High Commission. And then something happened, something really unfortunate happened. An event that changed the whole world, event that was going to impact the life of many others like me who weren't even remotely connected to it. 9-11 happened. For the next two to three years, all the immigration work was put on hold by Canada. Although new files keep coming in, backlog kept piling up, but nobody knew what was going to happen with their files. When you are in a situation, you come across people who are in the same boat as you. You, you hear new stories every day. Some are good, some are bad. The good stories would be something that people who weren't, who were got easily in, who were called into Canada. And there were some deserving candidates who got their files rejected without being given any valid reason. This continued for more than five and a half years, when in the beginning of <coughs> 2007, my consultant calls me and tells me that the Canadian authorities have finally decided to hear my prayers. I was called for an interview. On the day of interview, my wife and went to, went to consulate, Canada consulate office in India. And after few preliminary formalities, we were asked to go to a room where the interviewer was already there. It was a lady sitting there already waiting for us. So interview started. She started asking me questions about my work experience, my educational background, and, and she even asked me to write a small exam. During the whole time, my wife had no clue about the happenings in the room. <clears throat> Although she was sitting next to me, perhaps her mind was racing with some thoughts. She must have been praying to God all the time. So anyways, the lady asked me a few more questions and then after, after, after a few, few minutes, she, she congratulated me and asked us to follow a gentleman for further steps. At that time, I looked at my wife. She was very quiet, and her face was, she, her face looked like a white sheet to me. She was so stressed that she still had no clue about the outcome of the interview. I explained that to her. Before she could respond, the gentleman started explaining us the next steps and also handed over a package to us 
we took the package and came back. It was one of the happiest days of our life. We came to Canada the same year in August. Although it took, took us six painful years uh, after applying for Canadian immigration, but it was a journey worth waiting for. That's why you say good things in life don't come that easy. Mr. Toastmaster.